When you have a 1-2 dial and you treat it with HiO4 or also referred to as parietic acid, what happens is you split the carbon-carbon bond, splitting the two carbons that the two oxygens are attached to and end up replacing them, those two OHs, with carbonyls. So this is carbon 1, that's carbon 2. And this can be done in terms of rings. So here we split this carbon-carbon bond and we place it with two carbonyls. And that's all there is to it. The mechanism for this reaction, well, pridic acid in water generates H3O+. And here we have pridic acid, which is a weak electrophile, and we can activate that weak electrophile with H3O+. by simply protonating it. Now, with this protonated, it can react with a weak nucleophile, like one of our OHs from our alcohols. Electrons attack the iodine, and the electrons go up onto the oxygen. And then a quick proton transfer. Regenerates our H3O+. which we can use to activate another one of the iodine-oxygen double bonds. Like so. And then our other oxygen from the dial attacks. And we get this species here. We have five bonds to oxygen to the iodine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, excuse me, seven bonds. Water can remove that proton from that positive oxygen. 
And all that work is to get us to this stage right here. where we form the cyclic iodine species. And this species is the key intermediate. And what happens with this species is this is capable of cleaving a carbon-carbon bond, where these electrons from the carbon-carbon bond go and form a carbon-oxygen double bond, like so. The electrons from the oxygen-iodide bond go onto the iodine center itself, and these electrons from the iodine-oxygen bond go and complete the cycle to form a new oxygen carbon double bond in this process is irreversible. Giving us our two carbonyl species. Now this process is good for cleaving cis diols and oftentimes you'll see this reaction in con conjunction with osmium tetroxide in NMO.